fellow members of the Esoteric Order of Gamers. My name is Peter. I'm also known as Universal Head. I have a website called the Esoteric Order of Gamers and one of the main things you'll find there are hundreds of rules, summaries and references that I make for popular board games. Some unpopular ones as well. I'm a professional graphic designer by trade and I also do uh, graphic design for board games but I love making these rules summaries for my own use and for you. So if you go over to the website at orderofgamers.com you'll find hundreds of them. You can download them, print them out, laminate them and stick them in the game box they belong to and you'll find it makes it a lot easier for you to pick up and play games. Now every time I do a joy of unboxing of course I'm going to do a rules summary for the game that I unbox. Today it's going to be Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, a board game of English magic. It's by Osprey Games. They very kindly sent me this copy to have a look at and check out. And I'm very excited about this because I absolutely love the book. I'm a big fan of the book and I'm looking forward to play the game. So let's unbox it, check it out. And don't forget there'll be a rules summary at the Order of Gamers website very soon. Well, as I said, I'm a big fan of the book Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I've read it once and listened to it on audio once. It's a very imaginative, gothic kind of book with a, a bit of fairy mythology in there and uh, a very Victorian kind of feel as well. All things that I just love. Um, the original book, of course, is by Susanna Clarke. I highly recommend checking it out if you haven't read it already. But there's more. There's some fantastic names involved in this game. It's designed by Marco Maggi and Francesco Nepotello. I hope I pronounced those correctly. They are some of the designers involved in War of the Rings 2nd Edition, my favourite game of all time. So, wow, I'm particularly excited about this one. And, of course, the design and illustration is by Ian O'Toole, the graphic design and illustration, I to say. Ian O'Toole, of course, you all know, is an extremely talented uh, designer who does a lot of board game work and illustrates as well. I hate him. He's so talented. Because I really admire his graphic design, but wow, to be able to illustrate as well is really something. So, there's a pretty amazing pedigree for this game. So, I'm very excited to check it out. Let's open the box. And already there's something interesting happening here, because look at this. It's a strange bit on the side of the box here. Um, what's happening here? Oh, it's, is it going to open like a book? It is very nice. Look at that. The box top is actually part of the bottom. That is a lovely touch. Lovely. Uh, we've got some advertisements here for other games. Here's a very nice rule book. Look, a perfect way. Oh, this is great. It's got a book feel already. Um, Ian O'Toole, he really does some lovely stuff. So this is our rule book. And, of course, as I said up front, I'll be doing the rules summary and reference for this as soon as possible. There you go. That doesn't look too complicated, does it? Nice rule book. These look like some player boards. They are double-sided. And very nice boards. They are two characters from the book. John Segundus. Or Segundus. Gilbert Norrell. Miss Redruth. Redruth. One thing about reading books is that you never actually pronounce the names in your head. Or well, I don't anyway. I just recognise them visually. So when I actually have to say them, it's a different thing entirely. Jonathan Strange. Love the colours. Love the design. Here's a sheet of spell element tokens. Nice thick card. And here's our board. Here's the board. You can see it's broken into a London area and a Europe area. Some large tracks along the top and down at the bottom. And the very clever thing about this is you can see the sea areas around Europe are actually ravens which is an ingenious bit of design and really effective. It's something you don't notice at first and then you realise how clever it is. Very nice touch. 
Oh, everything's been thrown around a bit in the box. That's a shame. Um, I'll fix that up in a moment. Okay, that's better. Uh, those card decks did have wrapped things around them, but they'd come loose. But as you can see, very nice insert. Everything fits well in there. There's plenty of space for sleeving the cards, which I always like to see. Um, we've got some very nice tokens. And we've got large pawns like this, and then these round tokens. And as you can see, the colours are just lovely. Really nice to see well-chosen colours in player pieces. They're very nice. There's just a sense of elegance about everything, isn't there? Which, of course, is perfectly appropriate to the theme. We've got here what appears to be a tarot deck of sorts. Perfect style of illustration. I believe these cards are invitation cards so you can get invited to various events this deck is introductions some of the characters you can meet Oh, Shelley. Must be very difficult illustrating all these different characters. What a challenge. Jane Austen. Some characters. Lord Byron characters from real life there, of course. This is a deck of Feats of Magic. Uh, done in a newspaper style, which is just lovely. These are presumably all the magical things that you can do during the game. It's like some kind of icon system there as well. This deck is Books of Magic. Again, seems to be some kind of icon based system. These cards are named connections. Oh, this is making me want to read the book again. And finally, there's a deck of spells. Jotted down on pieces of paper. Wonderful stuff. A spell to excite the public imagination. Well, and as I close the book, isn't that lovely? The very nice looking Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I'm dying to give this a go. Um, it's a beautiful looking production. Very lovely box, I have to say. Um, and the components look beautifully designed. This one's from Osprey Games. I'm going to be checking it out. And of course, as soon as possible, doing a rule summary and reference for it. So if you own this game... You'll be able to pop that in the box and uh, instead of going through the rules every time you play, just check out the summary and get playing. Thank you very much for watching. There's always more stuff on the way. I will see you next time. Bye for now.